Good. All righty. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, regardless of where you are joining us from, uh, this is Dr. Kweban who on the 15th day of the ChatGPT monetization bootcamp, where we are gathering uh, every day to try to get a little bit better understanding together as to how to monetize this old drama, this old uh, story about uh, ChatGPT and AI tools. We took a day off yesterday because it was Father's Day and all my kids were here and I wanted to have a great time with them and we really, really had a great time. Today is even still public holiday in the US, I think, and uh, but we are here on the 15th day. And today we are gonna be talking about video creation business uh, with AI. We have said that we are probably just gonna go back to the beginning and roll it, uh, roll it over. But I said, well, I have not thought about this at all. Maybe we should talk about this uh, while we are waiting for Lacon because this will be very short. Uh, while waiting for Lacon or David to come and actually do the main training for today. So if you come in here, I probably will just stop in the middle of the training and then we'll just switch over uh, to Lacon. Uh, let me send Lacon a quick uh, message to be sure it's still coming or not, okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so today we, uh, on day 15, we are gonna be talking about video creation with AI, unlocking new income possibilities for video industry with AI tools. And I think this will be an interesting one for those of you who are interested in video. And uh, as we all know, video is probably king right now of all the kind of elements uh, for communication. There is text, there is picture, there is video, there is audio. And it looks like most platforms, uh, the interaction is more with the video, especially on platforms like TikTok, YouTube, uh, even Facebook. And uh, uh, even on Twitter now, you are getting more engagement uh, with videos than the text. So video is very, very big. And if you can get, uh, figure out a way to use AI to become a little player in that industry, I think it's a great thing. So that's why we are including video creation business as one of the businesses we want to touch on, we want to touch on, on this 21 day bootcamp. So let's get to it. Uh, artificial intelligence that what we all call AI is beginning to have a major impact on the video industry. Even if it started it has started even before this year, just that many of us were not aware, many of us did not know what's going on until ChatGPT blew the, um, uh, the cover on everything AI, and all of us are not paying attention. Simple and cheaper AI power tools are making it easier and faster for anyone to create quality videos, and they are also opening up new possibilities of creativity. You know, before to do a good video, you have to get all these, they tell you get this uh, lens, get that lens. I remember when I was still uh, running my uh, record label and I was still uh, managing my entertainment company, Stingomania Entertainment and Stingo Records in Nigeria. This is maybe, I'll say 10 years ago, um, before uh, I, I left it, I think it was like, I ran it for about eight years. I remember, as at 10 years ago or so, for you to do, to shoot a movie, because I, I was also producing uh, uh, movies at that time, and I had a lot of uh, artists that I uh, would produce for. When they want to go to the, um, a lot of people may not even know that, I'm the producer of Ghetto Dreams. Let me rake a little. Ghetto Dreams is the, that movie about the green, the very popular Nigerian rapper, young boy that died in a tragic motor accident. Uh, that movie about him called uh, Ghetto Dreams. That was my movie. I'm the producer and executive producer of that movie. Uh, and I also did uh, Too Many and several other videos like that, including the, the one for the Redeemed Church called Covenant Church, which is still considered probably the best documentary on a church or docudrama about a church. It was not a documentary, it was a docudrama about a church. But then to make, to, to take some angle shots, you have to switch, the, the cameraman has to switch uh, the lenses around. He has to uh, 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 remove one lens and put another. 
I remember there was a time, and I'm talking 2012, 2013, that we bought one lens, not the camera, just the lens for about $10,000. Because anytime I'm traveling like that, my uh, DOP and the rest of the crew, they start giving me all these orders, uh, oh God, we need this one, oh God, we need that one. I don't know which one is the budget that they did for me. I don't know how to position camera. My own had to write scripts and to make sure that they are interpreting it on the set the way I like. But when it comes to shooting, the angles, the technical stuff, I, I really am out of my depth. Imagine that, just a lens, over $10,000. But today, you can shoot a great movie with your iPhone. Seriously, nothing else but your iPhone. And it will be great quality. In fact, there's a, there's a sitcom in the US, I don't remember the name now, that was shot entirely with iPhone. And this is like maybe seven, eight years ago. The only thing they used to shoot that um, situational comedy that was being played on NBC was iPhone from beginning to the end. That is how the revolution in video has been coming. Even until a couple of years ago, yes, it's still for that some levels you want to go that you still have to buy expensive equipment. But with AI tools now, it is now making it very easy and much, much faster for anyone to be able to get into doing some crazy types of videos, videos that are doing mad stuff that you, you see on those kind of um, uh, big screen, all those uh, video tricks and all that. I saw what someone like David that was hoping would come in to come and uh, teach us uh, some of this stuff today, the practical side, while I talk theory, the kind of things he's doing just on his phone. It is mind boggling because he has these AI tools that he, can, he puts in there that allows you to do literally magic. So that is where we are now. And so everybody, and that's why I'm teaching this or sensitizing you to this type of business. I obviously cannot teach you everything. I cannot even teach you 10% in a two hour training. But the idea is to sensitize you so that you can then go look for more, go study yourself, approve, go get what you need to get. Now you can be a player. The video market right now is 20, 20 uh, 223 uh, points, uh, uh, according to um, uh, those who we know. Uh, who is this person? Uh, uh, who we know, 223.9 billion is being projected to reach there in 2025. And this, this growth is being driven by popularity of online video streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, YouTube, and all of that stuff. So AI video power editing tools are becoming increasingly popular and they can automate tasks such as color correction, object tracking, motion graphics, and basically freeze up video creators to focus more on more creative aspects of the, of the process without overstressing about the technicals, which has always been the problem uh, for the little guy. Okay, now you don't have to go to school for, for six months or one year to be able to do a, a decent video. And now there are many, many dimensions that this thing is getting to. I'm laying this foundation so that you guys can understand the importance of this niche for those of you who may have interest in it so that you can begin to see where maybe this is where I want to be and then start learning a little bit more. Call this introduction to the video business with AI. Okay, because you can see new types of video contents are coming out. For example, we see AI-powered chatbots, the chatbots that can be used to create interactive videos that allow viewers to choose their own adventure. You, you click, the, what it gives you, the way your video goes is different from the way my own goes. Even though we are watching the same video, with the power of AI tools, this has now, we've heard of it before for years. I've heard about that, but it is very rudimentary. But now with AI chatbots now, it's made it easier than ever before for you to choose the ending of your own video, for you to choose how the plot of your videos will go at intermittent level. That's the level this thing is going. Essentially, AI has democratized the video creation industry and it's still in its early stages. 
as AI tech continues to evolve, it is likely that an even greater impact on that industry is coming very soon. And more importantly, I repeat again, it makes it for easy for anyone to be a player because the barriers to entry have been shattered by AI. And if you are interested in that niche, you can catch up even faster than those who have been there for 10, 15 years. All you, all you will need to do is just go get the AI tool and be playing with it. Just like we had Ellie was talking about this morning. You know, a video that will create your own avatar for you, that will look like you, that will talk like you on, 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 uh, on camera. Just that, as she said, casually, that all you do is sign up, pay your monthly fee, and you are doing it immediately. Five years ago, it will take a year just to create a, an avatar or movie. Uh, uh, many of you may not know that the first uh, Pixar, uh, the Pixar studio uh, is called Toy Story. The very first movie that was uh, uh, all computer generated. They didn't even say AI generated, it was computer generated. It took them five years to make that movie. Toy Story, go and read it online, Toy Story 1. It was a cartoon movie, but it was the first time that it was all being generated with, uh, with computer, with those type of uh, figures they have uh, uh, with Pixar, five years. What they used Pixar to do for five years, or what Pixar did five years to produce Toy Story. Maybe a David can produce it in three days or one week now. But the tools are there and only in, remember, uh, uh, Pixar had hundreds and hundreds of artists. They had a whole Hollywood studio that was working with hundreds of people working every day for five years to be able to bring up a, a Toy Story. And Toy Story was a hit, don't get me wrong. But today, they probably won't need more than two people to do that. And at most, let me even be very generous. At most, they'll bring out the movie in a month and it'll be better at least technically. That is the era that we are in now. So here are some advancements in video creation for you to pay attention to if this is an industry that you are looking to get involved with. There's what is called automated editing now. And I'm gonna be giving you some of the softwares uh, in that area, some of the AI tools, and then I'll let Ailey and all the others that have been uh, working on um, uh, video stuff to also suggest some more. Automated editing. AI algorithms can analyze and edit raw footage automatically now, saving you time and effort in the post-production process. And this is huge. Because before, when you finish video, when you finish making a movie, it actually costs you more time to do the editing than when you spent on the set. I remember when we were shooting that, my blockbuster, the uh, Ghetto Dreams, I think we spent three weeks on set but it took them three months to edit it. And that is like three or four full-time editor before we can put it in the marketplace. Now AI is eliminating all of that. Automated editing that will save you a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of time where you have to be, especially for instance, somebody is talking all those, um, uh, all those pauses that are not necessary. AI will clean that up in seconds. And then repetition and stuff like that, just one button, it cleans all that up for you. The same way ChatGPT has cleaned up typing. If you type now, you don't have to be worrying about um, uh, going to proofread the, um, the tenses, you don't have to proofread the grammar, you don't have to pro uh, proofread the text uh, sentence structure, you just post the whole thing into ChatGPT and say, edit this thing for tenses, grammar, and, and, and structure. 10 seconds later, you have a perfectly written Stuff video is also like that now. You're going to see some videos that can help you do that. Scene detection AI can identify and tag specific scenes, making it easier to navigate and edit large video files. Again, mega, mega, mega improvement in the industry. Visual effects generation AI power tools can generate stunning visual effects now, enhancing the overall quality and aesthetics of videos. Like I told you guys before, before visual effects is king in Hollywood. Those who do it, they're like the gods of, the, of, the, of, uh, uh, of Hollywood and it takes them years 
like the Titanic, for instance, and one of my favorite all all time movies. If I were to ask to pick three movies, I think Titanic would make it in the top three. Then maybe Al Pacino's uh, Scarface will also be there out of my top three of all time. But that Titanic movie was shot in a swimming pool. But it, co- it took them years. Nora, good to see you in the room. I uh, asked one of the, uh, uh, of the legends of the app on the, this AI team in the room with us. Uh, Nora Liken, I see Nora Liken, I see you. You're welcome. All right. Uh, we are doing the uh, training team now, and then we get into uh, contributions in a, in a few. All right. So visual effect generation as the speed has been crazy in the last few years alone. Because AI tools have gone bonkers. And they have now, the beauty of it is they are now in the hands of everybody. It's democratized. You just had Eli saying, talking about Synthesia, that for them to create an avatar for you, uh, uh, it's about a thousand dollars, and she's shouting, and I'm shouting with her. I see that is very, very expensive. Five years ago, <laughs> you can't even do what that Synthesia is doing now with less than a $500,000 software. I'm not kidding. And you will need a whole studio to do it for you. It's like when, when I try to uh, 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 tell my children that there was a time that a computer the size, the size of a house cannot even play the video they are playing now. The power in it is not enough. They are looking at me like I'm, I'm um, they, they, they don't even understand what I'm talking about. So same way. Voice over generation. It's another area that has gone bonkers. AI can synthesize human-like voices, providing high-quality voiceovers for videos without the need for professional actors. That part is crazy. Now you can you can say you want your voice to sound like Danny Glover. You want your voice to sound like Donald Trump, and it will cost you less than $10 subscription software to do it. It's absolutely crazy. Before, I think a few years ago, when I saw it on Fiverr, where some guy um, uh, says he can create a, 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 an audio uh, that will have the voice, he mentioned a few of the uh, 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 characters. Danny Glover, I remember, was one of them, because that's the one I did. And then this guy that acted God in one of these movies, uh, this black actor, uh, I keep forgetting his name. So also one of my favorites. Uh, 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 it was charging a hundred bucks for one minute to do it for you. Hundred dollars just to do a one minute video that sounded like Danny Glover. Now you can have maybe hundred, let me know if it's actually, let's say 10. From Let me talk from what I know. 10 AI tools right now that have free trials that is like $10 a month that will allow you to produce as many of those voices as you want. So imagine turning around and providing that service right now. Because the old world still does not know. That's why it's a good business to go. This, the old world still does not know that this thing is now there. Because many of us on Clubhouse, because we talk about it all the time, we get this tunnel. We imagine that because we are talking about it, the old world knows about it. Look at me with all the training I've even been doing. I've been hearing it Synthesia, but I've never logged in. I've never gone to check it. People will say it's a video software. It is this money that I know you can actually create your own avatar that will look like you, that will sound like you. And I am right involved. So imagine the guys that are not even on clubhouse right now, or that are not even, don't even know that anything called AI is going on. Those guys, you can see, charge them $100 to produce a a two minute video that sounds like uh, Michael Jackson. Meanwhile, you can get it done. If you go to uh, 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 um, uh, 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 play.ht, for instance, you put a, a, a um, audio, as soon as you get up to five minute audio of somebody, Michael Jackson, anybody, you upload it there, it will clone the voice for you in less than one minute. Now you can then be using that voice to do any audio that you want. At least I've gone in there to, to do it. It's just as my own voice, it didn't recognize. My accent was too thick. Maybe you recognize Noel. Noel's one is not very thick like that. Uh, <laughs> and Eli, Eli is still speaking like uh, English, so that one you will get. But for me, 
you don't recognize my voice. Say at Belele, this one is too is too local local African voice because it didn't sound like me. But when I tried other people, when I put my fish same there, it sounded just like him. And I've also seen a lot of guys that it sounded like. So I know that I have to work on this my Ijebu Mushin accent. But the point is, you can be in that space before it becomes commonplace. I'm just giving you ideas about, we're talking today about how to be a video, video business with AI. So you can begin to get ideas of where you want to be visual effects. Imagine going to go get a couple of those uh, new AI softwares that don't cost more than $20, $40 for you to subscribe. And then you are doing visual effects for them in Hollywood. Nollywood, forget Hollywood for now if you're in Nigeria. They may not listen to you, they probably have most of this stuff. But imagine Nollywood, where you have seen them, if they want to put fire on the car, you have seen the way it looks on TV. Even today, imagine you going in there and setting up shop with two or three of these badass softwares and producing better looking visual effects. Imagine the kind of business you can get today, today, even in that country. I'm not even talking about offering services to more sophisticated audience yet. Okay, let's keep going. So here are some services, if you haven't gotten it, to, that you can provide in the visual, uh, sorry, in the video uh, business using AI and chat GPT as a secret weapons. Promotional videos. Those are hot in Nigeria, they are hot in America, they are hot in London, they are hot everywhere. Everybody needs promotional videos. And believe it or not, 90, 90, 95%, 97% of those who are using it, they have no clue how it's done. They still think it's some magic. They still think it's very expensive. Those who are doing promotions, even those of us who know, like me, video is not my thing. I don't do videos. I'm going to be launching my software, my first AI software by the end of this month, uh, 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 God willing. Somebody, I'm going to pay somebody to do those promotional videos for me. Unless any of my staff say, oh, oh God, we know how to do this well. And they want to have mercy for me. But you know how sometimes staff, they might know how to do it, but they won't tell me that they can do it. They'll just let me go and waste my money. But if none of them, if Eric doesn't say, well, I know how to do it, or uh, um, uh, King Glue, or Funke, or Bayo, who are my four closest uh, uh, managers that work with me, I may still go and hire somebody to do it, even though I know all the softwares they're using, all the AI software. Is that discipline for me to sit down and actually make it work? I'm not going to say I'm not aware of Pictory. I've had a Pictory. I have it in my affiliate site. But have I gone there? It doesn't interest me. If it is to, to something to do with writing, I check all of them out from uh, a chat GPT uh, to uh, 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 BAD uh, to Orishi Rishi. All of them are good because that is what interests me. So you, can still make a lot of bank on promotional videos, social media videos. Lots of people will still pay you today to do social media videos for them. You can be doing testimonial videos. Those are huge in the video industry. Testimonial videos, everybody wants testimonials. Uh, yeah, Morgan Freeman, yeah, uh, 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 King Lou, I just saw that name that you typed since now. That was the name I was speaking for before, Morgan Freeman. You can do testimonial videos, training videos. Those are everywhere. I mean, those are much needed now. Even by people who don't know they need it. Imagine you approaching a product creator, just like now I have uh, this software called Funnelmatic that I'm working towards uh, to learn. It's an AI uh, powered uh, uh, funnel builder that I'm working towards, right? We are going to need training videos for different parts of the software, because that is how I do my own retention. When people are using your software, do they have these two, three minute videos they can quickly watch for the different features? If you say, oh, uh, you can set appointment with your, with your builder. Many people don't know how to do that. They will get, they're going to get to your platform. They have no clue. And you don't want to be training everybody. My own staff will not be then to be in customer service with my staff. Every time somebody wants to do video, they come and ask questions. No, you do a training video, that they can watch, that is two or three minutes step-by-step -step video. That market is endless. Because for each product, you might need to do like 20, 30 videos for it. 
on how to uh, create your account, how to edit, how to delete a page. I, I, I remember I own Funnel 360. That one doesn't have it. I was my first Funnel builder. That's when I'm replacing with Funnel, Funnelmatic now. We had to do about 25 uh, 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 tutorial videos so that people come to use it. Uh, uh, they, they are not frustrated. Because if people can't use your software, they will not renew their monthly subscription. If they can't use your software, they're going to just leave it alone and go elsewhere. So you want to do training videos for every part of it. Guess what? Some people are paid to do that. Either you have a permanent staff you hired, that that's their job or part of their job to do, or you go and look for somebody outside that will charge you money to be able to do that. And AI has not made it very easy for you to do much better one. Unlike before, that some of those softwares, they are clunky, they are, they are clumsy to use. With AI now, it's only text, you might even give it. It will create a video for you. That could just be your own niche. Inside this video thing, you might decide that it's training videos you want to specialize in. And I'm telling you, that niche, that sub niche alone, the market is endless. You just need to now know the right market. Which in my own case, if I'm introducing you or I'm training you, I'm gonna say, go look for product creators. They are your natural uh, 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 market who will not have problem paying you money. They will pay you, but yeah, they might pay you a little per video, but you are using software. And they are gonna get an order, do 20 videos, do 15 videos. Even if you're only charging $10 per video and somebody gives you 200, uh, 20, that's 200 bucks that you probably will be able to do in two days. Not to talk about you actually charging big money for those who may not know. So training videos, and it doesn't, it's not limited to product creators. Anybody who has an asset, you want training videos. Explainer videos. Obviously, those ones have been here for a very long time. And that's the reason why they cost a lot because they look good. They're supposed to be the uh, in thing, even though I suspect that might be going out of uh, fashion now once uh, these uh, avatar videos start to catch up from Pictory. When they start catching up, explainer videos may not necessarily be as hot as it is or it was, but people are still paying good money for it. We still pay every time we want to launch, we have minimum four, four uh, um, pages or four products per launch or your front end, your upsell one, your upsell two, your upsell three, and your upsell four. So five products that goes into one launch, each of them needs an explainer video. So imagine getting into the circle of those who are creating uh, softwares or who are creating courses because they need those videos to launch their products. You can't launch with those, without those, at least not in JVZoo, not in, Click, uh, not in ClickBank, not in Warrior Plus, those areas where I specialize in. You can get away with it, not having that if you are doing your launch, let's say you are doing it on Facebook or you are doing it on Clubhouse because it's a whole different uh, uh, mentality. They're not going to be stressing you for that, but you can't launch on a place like JVZoo without promotional uh, explainer videos. They want to see how the thing is working. They want the video. So some people, that's all they do, explainer videos. They don't do any other type of videos. That's all they do. You could position yourself there. Animation, animation videos. This used to be the preserve of the elites when it comes to video. But thank, thank God for AI, all of us don't become elites. We are all elites now. She's been at, to go carry Pictory or carry Synthesia. You spend one day, two days to master it works. Now you said you are in the game, Lumen 5. You know, pass all of that. Most clients do not know. I used to think it was a very big deal. I used to think it was even as a coach and trainer. This is how we used to carry them as if they are next to God. I'm talking as, as little as three years ago. When you, when you upset them, they just say they're not doing your job anymore. Now you are stranded. You can't launch your product. So you treat them like gods until I got one of those software. I don't know who referred it to me. And I just let me go in there. And I saw that this thing is just something. <laughs> it doesn't require brain self. They came, they came with, a, uh, with templates. And they use, they use a, 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 a software to do it. You just need to put something somewhere, put it there. Video is ready. 
I'm like, oh my God. And that is when I stopped overpaying because now me, I know. And I tell them, well, if you can't take 99 bucks, get, it, get out of here. I'm going to go do it myself. But most of those people in outside world don't know. So inside that price, obviously, we always be different from price of those who don't know. And a lot of uh, technical people, they don't understand that. They want to meet, uh, they want to meet, it's like uh, being a, uh, on this clubhouse, you are a moderator yourself, and somebody who's moderating for those who are not very savvy wants to charge you the same way they will charge somebody who is not very, who is clueless or somebody who's doing videos, wants to charge you who is selling videos, or who is training people how to do videos, people like me. He wants to charge me the amount he will charge somebody who doesn't know how the videos are done. Of course, it can work because I'm the one giving them the software. I may not do it myself, but I know all the software they are using. I know how much the software costs. I know how easy it is to use because I've tested them. So when they give me a price and I laugh in their face, that are you joking? I cannot pay you that because of this, because of this. Some get upset rather than understanding that it is, you have to segment your market. And that would be my advice to all of you. You don't, you, you, you don't expect somebody who's in the same industry with you, who knows where all the dead bodies are buried, to pay you like some rookie guy that don't know anything that has never even seen an AI software before in his life that can do an uh, uh, animation video. They will pay you. I, I remember, uh, I, I think it was five or six years ago now, we are first bank, probably the biggest bank in Nigeria, if not the biggest. Now, maybe it's going to be second, but it was the biggest for years. They paid somebody in Nigeria, true story, guys, because I know the guy. They paid the guy six million for a 30 second commercial explainer video. That was when it was still new in Nigeria about six, seven years ago or so, six million naira plus expenses. That was his fee, plus expenses. He gave them all these things that they need to do, blah, blah, blah. Collected maybe another two million, almost eight million naira to do a 30 second explainer video that is not even as good as what they do on Fiverr for $10. That's a whole bank at the time. So guys, don't think this is a smart thing. This video thing, there are places you will go, you will charge $100,000 for a two minute explainer video and they will think you are cheap. I'm not joking. Because they don't know. Imagine a bank with thousands of branches. Nobody in their tech knew that somebody was charging them. At that time, I think, I don't know what the rate was, but uh, I think it's probably, um, they paid him six million. That probably would be at in Nigeria money that time, about twenty something thousand dollars for a thirty second explainer video. And that same video, which was funny, I know the guy is not. I'm not going to say it's my friend. It's not my friend, but he was boasting about it at the party that we are in and all that about how he's the best video uh, explainer video person in the world, and it just hit me wrong. Now, why are you lying and saying you are the best in the world? And you are talking to us, we are insiders here. That that video that you collected six million from First Bank, I can get it for you right now, less than 20 bucks, less than $20. That thing that you collected $22,000 for. The man says, they like, blah, blah, blah. I took them to Fiverr. I'm like, look at what this fool is talking about. And then it became a big problem. But of course, this was us inside. I wasn't going to go ruin his business on the outside. This was us executives of entertainment companies, you know? But they didn't know. Even when I was arguing with them that this thing is not even up to $100, maximum 50 bucks, I will get it for you. And I will get it in three days. The man told them he'll get it for them in 30 days, blah, blah, blah. Even my co-executives did not believe me because they don't know. And these are some of the most accomplished entertainers. I mean, when you, are, when you are talking about somebody who has managed Two-Face before, I don't want to keep mentioning that. And I'm talking about people who manage some of the biggest names in the industry. They don't know. See, today, some of them still don't know. So if you are out there and you are now in a position to, to be able to uh, make A, you're not going to apologize if you can get away with $20,000. Why, why would you try $10 if you, if you don't have to? Because some people will say, ah, oh, but that is excessive. Why are you some people are charging it and getting it. 
And those who are even charging it, they, they, they go out and they, they, they do an inferior job. They will fly to South Africa to go do a explainer video, for God's sake. I also know of one like that. I don't know how much he collected, but he went to South Africa to go shoot the damn thing, and it was an explainer video that is done on a computer. Because they said there was one genius computer guy there. So he, fly, he flew down to go talk. I don't know how much he paid the guy. Yet, if he had only known, if he had gone to Fiverr or freelancer.com, he could have gotten 10 for less than 100 bucks. And it would be better. Because those guys on Fiverr, those guys on freelancer.com, they have access to software that does this thing for them in seconds. Just like many of us are now talking. Look at Eli this morning now. She just mentioned the uh, 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 Synthesia uh, casually, mentioned Pictory casually. Some executives, and I'm not even just talking Africa, even here in the US. Some executives, where if she showed them a video she made from that thing, if she charges $10,000, they'll say it's cheap. And these are not poor guys. These are not stupid people. These are guys who have done great stuff because you don't know. So this video thing, I'm just painting a picture for you here that you don't limit yourself to the freelancing uh, uh, area, which of course is part of it. We are going to get, uh, so, but those who come to that place to come and order, they will not pay you $500 for a video because they know there's thousand people that will do it for them for 20 bucks. There's a story, I don't know whether it was Noah or somebody that, that was telling this story yesterday that I really like about, I know it was that you about a man that gave it his son uh, 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 a ring. Was that you, Noel? No, no, it was, it was, I don't think it was me. Okay, somebody in one of the rooms, I think me and Noel were there, maybe Noel left or whatever. I've had him say it twice in two different rooms and I thought it was such an, uh, a powerful story for everybody to remember. He said there, there was a guy, a man who had a son, so he gave his son one rusty looking ring like this. And he told his son that that ring has been in their family for years, that the son could have it, but the son should promise him that he will not sell that ring. And the son said, okay. So he now asked the dad, but dad, is he okay? Because the man was just, curious. the boy was curious. What is this thing what? That the father is saying he's been in that generation for years and it is, uh, it's not something to be sold. Uh, it's too invaluable. And I asked the dad, can I go find out the price of this thing? And the father said, fine. You can go find out the price, but please do not sell, no matter whatever price they give you. So this guy went to a pawn shop. This young boy went to a pawn shop. He showed the pawn, the pawn shop guy the ring, the old ring that the father gave him. And the pawn shop guy, Gabby, I see you in the audience. Uh, you need to contact me later. Really, I need your help on something. Okay, so the uh, guy now said, uh, the pawn shop guy said, after about 10 minutes of looking at it, I said, this is not worth anything, I'll give you $10 for it. Ah, the boy said, okay, no, I'm, I'm good. And collected his ring. And then went uh, to another uh, place. I forgot the second place he said the guy went. He went to, I think, the market where they sell rings. And he was saying whether the, uh, where they sell antique in the market. And the man said, they told him, um, I think that one offered him 20 bucks. I'm guessing the amount number was very small, between $5, $20 from the story the gentleman told. And then that was in the market where they're selling new rings uh, 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 in the marketplace. So he went home and I was very dejected that all this one that my dad is saying, this thing is very, very valuable. Apparently this is not worth more than 10 bucks. So he told us that. And the dad said, you need to think again, think deeper, think deeper about where you're going to find the, uh, uh, a better price for this. So eventually, the boy went to an antique dealer, somebody that deals only in antique jewelry. So when he gave it to the man, the man looked it over, went to bring his machine, bring, brought his stuff, examining the way all those old school uh, jewelers look. And then by the time he finished, he was very excited. And then he told the boy, that this ring is worth at least a million dollars. And the boy was very excited. Of course, he didn't sell because his father had said he should not sell. He rushed home and then went to tell his father. 
And his father asked him, what did you learn from that story? From this experience, you went to the first place, they offered you $10. You went to the second place, they offered you 20. You went to a third place, they offered you a million dollars. What did you learn? The boy was trying to ramble up and down, but eventually the father told him, bottom line, you need, you get the best value for your asset and your services by putting it in the right, in front of the right people. If you put your services or your skills in front of the wrong people, they are going to undervalue you because they don't know better. That that, that uh, 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 pawn, pawn guy, all he knew was run down equipment that people come and pawn to make money. It could not occur to him that because it turned out that that ring was something that dated back hundreds of years, me adding my own now. That gentleman didn't say that, but that is the implication from what he was saying. What am I saying here? The same explainer videos that somebody is doing in a, um, a Fiverr and Freelancer for $10, $5. You make a presentation before the right person. It can give you $50,000, $100,000 for the same explainer video. Now, let me now share my own personal experience with you guys. 2014, I had a bank was bidding to build some kind of community site for one of their, for a, a, a segment of their, of their customer base. I'm not gonna mention the name of the bank because I don't want to debrand them. They are still using that platform to today, by the way. That's why I don't want to mention it. And I happened to hear about it, or rather some of my staff, I was still uh, partly in Nigeria then, because then I would spend two months in Nigeria, then I would spend three months here. So I still have my offices there. So, and I said, okay, let's go bid. Even though I know the MD of the bank, the MD of the bank was my child, childhood friends, but I'm not like that. I'm not the guy that will go and say, okay, me too, I want to bid and start trying to use connection because I can fight with my friend anytime. I don't care. And I don't want them to say he came to beg me for contract. So without even telling him, we bid it for the contract. And guess what? We ended up winning the first one for this bank. While we were working on that bank, another bank, probably maybe not as big as that first one, probably like in the top 12 banks in Nigeria, they also wanted to do something similar because it started to be come something that is hot. One bank had had one and not everybody wanted one. I will be there for that one too. And we got it. They asked me how much did we charge for that first bank that is much bigger. We charged 30, we, we, we charged 30 million. 30 million to build a website. And if I tell you, I know you are not going to believe, but just take my word for it. I don't have, you don't have to believe me and I don't have to prove it to you, but it's something that will take me two minutes to prove All I need to do is mention the name of the site. You go there and I will show you where to look to see who built it. But the point is, which are 30 million. I turned around, it turned out, I turned around rather, one of my staff, his name is Vaughn, Vaughn Item who is a, someone we now went on and did several software together as co-launchers, 50-50 type of thing. But then I was employing him, he was my staff. He was, was good at a, a website, but who can, who can build a WordPress site? I mean, even me, I can do a WordPress site, it's a template. It was a WordPress site that we gave them. WordPress site. I paid that, my guy who is the, actually uh, uh, ended up being the CTO of Gist House later. For those of you who know Vaughn, that's the guy I'm talking about, my CTO, who has now published about eight or nine software of his own on JVZU and made uh, uh, millions of dollars in sales. But this is about eight years ago. He was still working for me on salary. His salary, when you look at it in dollar terms, was not even up to $1,000 then a month, which is, was good salary, by the way. Bottom line, I just, okay, we're going to build this site for this team. He went with me to the presentation. I did the presentation myself. Once we wanted, I said, okay, let's go build it. And I gave him an incentive, which is really still nothing. Maybe an incentive of $1,000 to build it. But we built 30 million and we got paid. The second bank, bank I think was 12 million. For the same WordPress site that people build on Freelancer, Fiverr.com, 
for less than a hundred bucks. If you go there right now, they will build you a beautiful one. How much is Wix? If you are going to go build it with Wix even, is Wix not free? Is when you want to activate your site, they tell you to pay a certain amount of money uh, 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 every month, maybe nine bucks a month. That's $81, uh, $84 a year. You could have paid them with that money you are getting from that, you could pay 10 years. So that way you don't even have to worry. You pay 10 years on, of weeks and you are ready to go. You will still walk away with the profit of, uh, for those of you who don't know what 30 million was in those days, 30 million probably will be at uh, 400, 300 to one. So probably will be, I don't know, um, I will have put up maybe like 20, $25,000 or more for a WordPress site that I, even if you put knife on my neck, I cannot give you a hundred bucks for a, one, a, a WordPress site because I know how it's done. I know I can do it. It will take me two hours to create a WordPress site on my own. So why would I pay any developer more than a hundred bucks to do me what? So it's where you take your, your wares and these businesses I'm sharing with you, and I'm going to repeat them again, there are six or seven sub niches of video business you can go into. The market is overripe, is still there, and you have the tools now. You don't need to be a great video creator. These AI tools are already doing the damn thing. Your own is to just know how to use it when you're on there. And they have tutorial video, they have samples within a day. You're going to know how to use Pictory. Within a day, you'll be able to use Synthesia. Within a day, you'll be able to use Po. They have so many out there that the world is not even aware it's existing. I'll mention those sub niches to you again. Promotional videos. This one, you probably will get a lot more clients, but you probably won't get paid exorbitantly because those who are doing promotional videos among the digital marketers, they already know what's up. They're just lazy. They don't want to do it themselves. So they, someone like me, I will pay you, but I'm not going to overpay you. By the time you start, you start telling me that my three minute video is going to be more than 200 bucks, I'm going to tell you, get, get lost. Because I know that that 200 bucks, that means equivalent of my time of two hours, right? I charge $100 an hour. The question would then be, am I ready to spend that two hours? If I spend it, I'll do the video. Because most of them, all you do is put text, hit enter, video comes out. Why would I want to pay you more than uh, uh, the inconvenience of not doing it myself? So that market may not be your ideal market for big money. Okay, you want to go for me, uh, small to medium mom and shop companies who are not marketers, quote and unquote. So they don't know how uh, cheap this stuff are. So that when they see your sample videos, they'll be freaking out. Restaurant owners, uh, 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 those who own, uh, uh, who do handyman jobs, those ones you can get away with murder with them. You can get away with a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks for a promotional video because they don't know better. They don't know how it's done. Especially the ones that have never been propositioned by your competitors who are gonna reduce the price to 50 bucks and get it done. Social media videos. Do you know how many people, uh, especially celebrities and uh, uh, small businesses who will pay you anywhere from 500 to 1,000 bucks for social media videos? Or even if it's 100 bucks for a social media video. They are going to get in bulk. They don't do one. They do one, they do two, they do three. Next week, they're calling you again for another three. And you might find out that maybe you're just charging 100 bucks per video. But it's costing you nothing. The software you are using costs you 49 bucks a month at most. Synthesia, just look at it, it's $49 for a whole month. And they are saying that one is expensive. Imagine the ones that are 10 bucks. And you bring out amazing videos. Number three, testimonial videos. Number four, training videos. If I'm doing video as a business today, training video is where I'm going to specialize in. Because that market, they desperately need it. And it will get you bulk. I'll just reduce my price. I may reduce it to 50 bucks or 100 bucks per video. And I'll stay away from marketers. I want to go to those who are not hardcore uh, marketers who, who will not think 100 bucks for a video is expensive. They will think it's very cheap. And then you get bought. From each client, you might get 10, you might get 20. You get another one and you keep moving. Explainer videos everywhere. 
animation. And I'm not even talking about the movie industry. Because most of the guys who do videos in the middle in, uh, with the video editing in the movie industry right now, many of them are very old school. They are still doing color, clinical, clinical, they call it on, uh, on, on, on TV. So you can then specialize in promotional videos for the, for the movies. Video editing. You can edit as well as the best editor now because most of it is done for you by AI. You just give it instruction. Ah, I think Lekon has come. I'm seeing Lekon pop in there. Thank God. Lekon will be waiting for you. Yeah, jump up now. Okay, let me let him rest for a few seconds. But that's uh, uh, Lekon, uh, uh, I know he has to go to work, even on, uh, on holiday, you know, these Google people. Lekon, good to see you. I was just uh, doing uh, uh, the training on video while we wait for you. I'll give you a few minutes to get yourself together and then you can talk and let us know when you're ready to roll. All right, so I was gonna go into checklist for getting started with, uh, with, uh, with video business using ChatGPT. I've just shared ideas with you of possibilities in case you're not thinking along that line, right? Now, I'm gonna even skip because I really need to just get this out of the, of the way. Maybe I'll just stop here so that I don't just rush it unnecessarily. Let's get, Lekon in, I don't know how much time he has. Uh, I know that he's uh, busier than me. me. I don't get job. I'm here online. Lekon is a product manager. <laughs> Lekon, how are you, sir? I'm well, doctor. All righty. I can't complain. All right. Are you ready for us so that I could post my training and put you on there or what? Are you ready? Sure. Do you want me to go on uh, on Zoom or you want me to do it all on Clubhouse? I think Zoom is better. If you have, do you have a PowerPoint to show? Let me um let they, me, they let go me to find zoom. the zoom link. Okay, please. Uh Funka, please post uh, the zoom link to uh Lekon, uh, so that because we had uh, almost uh, we have almost 60 people on Zoom right now and then they are expecting the slides. So uh, those who are on the clubhouse and GSAS can always listen in. All right, while uh, uh, Lekon is uh, uh, getting to Zoom, uh guys, I what I will do when it's ready to start, I will post this training here so that I can continue. Uh, if maybe tomorrow so that we can finish it up uh, properly because all I've done so far is to share an idea with you, the kind of possibilities, the kind of businesses you can do in there. We still need to go into the checklist to get started. Then I need to give you the list of uh, video softwares that you can use to do this business. Then we need to talk about where to market your businesses. As you can see, we still have uh, a long way to go on this uh, uh, training on a video business using ChatGPT. But I can tell you guys, it's one of the most lucrative businesses you can get into. It has so many dimensions now. Anywhere you want to take it, that's business. And now you can play. Before it's a big boy play. You have to go to video editing school. You have to go learn all those stuff. AI has eliminated all of that. Where you'll be able to work faster, better, and of course, much cheaper. Whether you, you transfer the cost to your client is your own uh, challenge. I just told you guys, if that website that we did that cost me less than $500 to do, and we got 20 something thousand dollars for it, what did you think I did after we got paid by that bank? Now, and I went into local business consulting. I was then going around the big companies that have big money to pay who think that paying $20,000 for a site is cheap or paying $20,000 for a video is cheap. I get the job, then I go to Fiverr and freelancer and I contract the job for them to them for 200 bucks, $50. And my job was being praised as being better. I thought I saw Laura bouncing, was that Flora? I thought I saw somebody popping that it says Laura Bernard or the sheep pants back out. That's uh, one of my guys in the game. Okay, she's not in the room. I thought she was in here. All right. So you also can do that. Oh, okay. Laura is here. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I just, I just brought her up. All righty. Laura, good to see you. <laughs> Hey, my friend, thank you for sharing that incredible story yesterday. Oh, thank, I appreciate you. Thank you. My apologies that I I, I, I I lost my emotion a little bit. I try not to do that. I like it. 
Um, <laughs> oh, it's nice to see the human side of Dr. Opie and his bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I actually felt a lot better after because it was uh, it's something I've voted on, but thank you so much. My apologies to all of you. I try not to be too emotional, but sometimes you can't help this. Thank you for coming. We are waiting for uh, 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 Lekon. Lekon is going to be teaching us today. We are on day 15 of our uh, ChatGPT monetization bootcamp that I promised. And we've been having a real blast here. Today, we are talking about uh, video business, how to go into the video creation business using ChatGPT. And the Lekon is going to, is, was scheduled today and he just came in. So he's going to be doing his own training from fresh. I will just uh, multi ball where I am uh, as soon as uh, Lekon is sorted out so that we can give Lekon the full attention and the full, uh, the full stage. Because our model is uh, every day we take a whole new business and then we do a master class on it for at least two hours while we break it down before we even go into the Q&A on it so that I can have, um, like I said, uh, my master classes recorded. I wanted to have uh, at least uh, 20 master classes that will come out of here that will actually be for buy button, Laura. <laughs> Okay, so Valora, can you share with us before Lekon goes on, whatever you, uh, uh, is on your heart about this AI to encourage and let uh, uh, my tribe, we're on three different platforms now, by the way, we're on Clubhouse, we're on Gist House, and then we're also on Zoom, which is where most of the people are, because we're doing uh, a video presentation, but they will hear you, even though you are not, you are here. Go ahead, Laura. Awesome, awesome, yeah, I mean, I think that these, personal, basically assistive devices, right? These, these tools that are allowing us to enhance our productivity, right? Reduce the duration to get something completed um, and brainstorming tools. And, you know, some of them are language tools, some of them are video creation tools, some of them are, uh, you know, going to be financial tools. I mean, they're, they're tools that are commercializing AI to everyone. I think they're phenomenal, and I think it's going to be uh, those that lean in. Uh, many of them, and what I like is many of them have premium versions. So while I'm on paid for a number of them, people from all over the world where it's available can use the free versions and still get a significant amount of support and getting from point A to point B. So we are uh, we're leaning in heavy 